Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about HTTP connection, topic of computer network. Let us check the outline of this video. First one, introduction of HTTP, then HTTP connection, in which I have covered non-persistent HTTP and persistent HTTP. In persistent HTTP, I have covered without pipelining persistent HTTP and with pipelining persistent HTTP. Before start this video, let us subscribe me on YouTube Chirag Balodia, follow my blog edu resources, follow me on Instagram and on FB. All the video materials are available on my blog edu resources. All the links are given in description. So let us start with introduction of HTTP. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It is simple web transfer protocol. It means whenever you want to access any file on the web, at that time you must use HTTP protocol. Next, HTTP protocol use port number 80. It means all the traffic related to HTTP are forward and received at the port number 80. Next, purpose of HTTP to transfer the hypermedia document like HTML. Also we can say using the HTTP we can transfer the multimedia documents. Working of HTTP is based on request response behavior. Let us take one example to understand the request response behavior. There is one client and there is one server. Client want to access a file from the server. So first of all client make a request to the server for the particular information or file. So after that server read the request and send requested file to the client. It is called response. So this is known as request response behavior. Next HTTP connection. There are two types of HTTP connection. The first one is non-persistent HTTP and the second one is persistent HTTP. So before discuss about the types of HTTP connection, I have discussed two different terms. The first one is RTT. RTT stands for round trip time. RTT means a time for a small packets to travel from client to server and server to client. Now what is RTT? Let us discuss in diagram. So here there is one client and there is one server. So as per the definition of RTT, small packet transfer between client to server and server to client. It is called RTT. Next term is HTTP response time. So how can we calculate HTTP response time? To calculate HTTP response time, we have to need one RTT to initiate the TCP connection. Now see in this diagram, there is one RTT to initiate the TCP connection. So here TCP connection is initiated by the client and accepted by the server. The next thing is required one RTT for HTTP request and response. Let us see in the diagram. Client send a HTTP request to the server. Server will send a response to the client. So there is one RTT for HTTP request and response. And the last parameter is file transmission time. So based on this three parameter, the HTTP response time is equal to number of RTT plus file transmit time. So now discussed non-persistent HTTP. Non-persistent HTTP default mode is HTTP 1.0. So let us take one example to understand the working of non-persistent HTTP. So here there is one client and there is one server. So first of all client send a TCP connection request to the server. Server will accept the request so it uses one RTT. Then client send a file request to the server. Server will send a response so it uses another RTT. So there are two RTTs used and here TCP connection is closed. So it means in non-persistent HTTP connection after every request response the TCP connection is closed. So it means the connection is used exactly for one request and one response. So there is one object which is in received file and client want to access that object from the server. So how can client access that object from the server? So first of all client initiate the TCP connection request to the server. Server will accept the TCP connection and then client send an object one request and received from the server. After receiving that object from the server again TCP connection is closed. So it means for downloading multiple objects from the server it requires multiple TCP connection. So now see in this diagram multiple object are requested using the multiple TCP connections. So now response time of the non-persistent HTTP is 2 RTT plus 1 file transmit time. So now see in this diagram there are 2 RTT is used and 1 file transmit time is used 
for the single file request and response. Let us take one example to better understand the non-persistent HTTP. For example, transferring a web page from server to client. Web page consists of a base of HTML file and 10 JPEG images. So it means total 11 objects are reside on the server. So now the non-persistent HTTP response time is 11 object is equal to 22 RTT plus 11 file transmit time. So based on this equation. So here we can say non-persistent HTTP connection is wasting of time and wasting of resources of server. Next persistent HTTP. Persistent HTTP default mode is version 1.1 of HTTP. Let us see in this diagram. Initiate the TCP connection request by the client. Server will accept the TCP connection. There is one RTT is used. Then client send a request file to the server. Server will response that file. So file is received at the client side. Now there is no requested file. After that TCP connection is closed. In persistent HTTP connection we can say in a single TCP connection we can access the multiple files from the server. So what I have discussed here is everything written over here. Next types of persistent connection. The first type is without pipelining persistent HTTP and the second one is with pipelining persistent HTTP. So let us discuss without pipelining persistent HTTP. So let us take one example to understand the working of without pipelining persistent HTTP. So here there is one client and there is one server. So first of all client send a TCP request to the server. Server will accept the TCP request from the client. So it uses one RTT. Then client send a file request to the server. Server send a file with a response message. It uses another RTT. For example in that received file there are two objects. So client want to access those two objects from the server. So first of all client send object 1 request. Server will response with the object 1 and object 1 is received at the client side. It uses one RTT. Now client send a object 2 request to the server. Server send object 2 and object 2 is received at the client side. It uses one RTT. So now TCP connection is remain open for some time. So there is no request from the client side. After that the TCP connection is closed. So as per the discussion of persistent HTTP, we can say there are multiple files are accessed from the server in a single TCP connection. So what I have explained in this diagram is written over here. So problem in the without pipelining persistent HTTP is the idle situation waste the server resources. So it means before closing the TCP connection, all the objects are received at the client side. But there is no request from the client side to the server. So TCP connection remains open. So it wastes the server resources. Next with pipelining persistent HTTP. So default mode of HTTP 1.1 uses the persistent connection with pipelining. So there are two different types in persistent HTTP. One is without pipelining and the second one is with pipelining. When HTTP version 1.1 is used it means persistent HTTP with pipelining mode is used. So it is the default mode. Let us take one example to understand the working of persistent HTTP with pipelining. Here in this diagram there is one client and there is one server. So first of all client send a TCP connection request to the server. Server will accept the TCP connection. It uses one RTT. So after establishment of TCP connection client will send a request to the server. Server will response with the requested file. So it uses another RTT. So there are multiple objects in that received file. So client want to access that multiple objects from the server. So how client send a request and receive the objects. For example there are three objects in that received file. So here client send a back to back request of the object. Now see in this diagram object 1, object 2 and object 3 are requested from the client. So client will receive all the objects in a sequential manner. Object 1, object 2 and object 3. Because here pipelining concept is used. So based on that pipeline process we can say the object 1 is requested then object 1 is received first then object 2 is requested and object 2 is received second one and then object 3 is requested and the finally object 3 is received. So it is called persistent HTTP with pipelining. If all the objects are received then fraction of time the TCP connection is closed. So this is the concept of persistent HTTP with pipelining. 
So as per discussion of persistent HTTP, there are multiple files are accessed from the server on a single TCP connection. So what I have explained in this diagram is written over here. So problem of without pipelining is solved over here. So pipeline TCP connection remains idle for a smaller fraction of time. So it means all the objects are received at the client side. Within a smaller fraction of time TCP connection is closed. So if you have any query regarding persistent and non-persistent HTTP, you can ask me in comment section. If you like this video, please share with others and hit the like button. Thank you for watching this video.